but then they must also experience death. They must experience the death of Christ. They must feel the cross. Now, I wasn't at Golgotha. I wasn't there. But I will be there when I have truly become a disciple. When I have truly become a disciple, I will be at Golgotha. I will know the power of the cross when I become a disciple. And we're going to talk on discipleship as we go um, throughout this week and next week and whenever God, I don't mean I'm going to get in, I'm going to wait on the Spirit, I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm not going to just put you through a routine. But look, um, God, we, we must know, Paul said in Philippians, the third chapter, don't have the verse, but you get it on the screen very quickly, Philippians 3, he said, that I may know him, but that I may know him. How do I know Christ? How do I know him? Uh, and also follow that up with Matthew 7. Uh, you, you have that? Uh, Philippians 3, someone quote the verse. Don't you have the verse yet on that? I, I am, uh, is it the fifth verse? That I may know him. Philippians, the third chapter. No, no, I'm out of Galatians. I'm working on Philippians. That I may know him and, and the power of his resurrection and, and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto death. Now, now, skip on over from Philippians 3 and 10 to, um, and you can mark these scriptures and go back over them, but in uh, Matthew 7, and what verse is that? Uh, when he said, depart from me, I, I never knew you. I never knew you. They will come to him in that day and say, Lord, didn't we cast out devils in your name? Yes. Uh, didn't we uh, do these things in your name? Some, have, someone have that verse? Uh, all right, let, I'll get my Bible open here and I'll start following. Uh, here, uh, in, 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 um, in the book of um, uh, Matthew, uh, here. Yeah, I, I, I you all uh, keep these scriptures up with me. Um, Matthew 7, 23. And then will I profess unto them. Now these are religious people. These are people that are religious. This is not the world. This is not the people of the world. This is the religious church. And then will I profess unto them after they said, didn't we do these things in your name? <laughs> cast out devils, all these miracles, wonders we did. Didn't we do that? And then when I profess unto them, I never knew you. I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. So for me to know Christ and for Christ to know me implies a relationship, intimacy. Adam knew Eve, his wife. And what happened? She conceived and brought forth a son. He knew her. There was relationship. And for Christ to know me, to know me is more than me going through a ritualistic thing Amen. in the church. It, 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 Christ has to grip me. There has to be a birth taking place. There has to be power coming in my life. Uh, someone said, but Brother Marlowe, we're human beings. I'm just a human. That song said, I'm only human. That's right. But we cannot use our humanity, we can't use our humanity to fail to do Christ's command. No, sir. You want to say that again? Yes. We cannot use our humanity to fail to do Christ's commandment. Because the commandment of God is yea and yea and nay and nay. And I can't, I can't use the fact I'm only human. No, no, that, that, that's, that's a cover, that's a shield. Um, I am crucified with Christ that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Being made conformable unto his death. So it sounds like that when you become a Christian, there is a birth, there is joy, there is happiness, there is miracles, there's wonder, there's wonder working power in him. The Holy Ghost does have power, Amen. but at the same time, there's a death taking place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And a death only takes place in a human being 
when, I, when you're denied. You will never know a death in your will or your flesh or your spirit unless you deny something that you want, something you crave, something that you believe is right for you, something you believe you should have it. You deserve it. You know, man feels that way. I deserve it. I should have it. I deserve it. I, I should have it. But that, that uh, God has to uh, come across that and say, no, you may not. You have to give it up. But I want it. But you have to give it up. Well, I don't want that kind of club. Well, then the Elks Club is out there. And they don't require that. You know, they, 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 you know the social structure is out there. Uh, the, the entertainment church is out there. Where, well, you know, just come as you are. Come as you are. It's all right. Come as you are. You don't have to yeah. not worry about looking holy. You don't have to dress holy. You don't have to look godly. You don't have to uh, just come as you are. Uh, they say, well, you, you, that, that's out there. But, but you can't have that intimacy and that knowledge that only the Holy Ghost can give you. You have to give up something you want and want badly. Uh, someone said, oh, I don't believe that. I believe being a Christian, I can have everything I want. It's a grand new life. It's a party from uh, daylight to dark. I can have a party from daylight to dark. Uh, and some people do. And we're the guise of a Christian. Some people have a party from daylight to dark. Uh, some people, uh, they will rebuke a minister. If a minister instructs them, they will look right back at the minister. You have the right to do that. I've got my rights. I'm standing up for my rights. No, you don't have any rights. You, you, you gave them away. You said, I want to follow Christ. And you, you gave up your will. You gave up your life. You, you gave up your ambition. Uh, uh, for yourself, yeah, you, you, you have to follow Christ, you know. Uh, now look, I know what I'm saying tonight, but the church needs to get back to where the Spirit of God can flow in it like a river. I say the church. We should not have to strain and struggle for the power of of the living God, where two or three are gathered together in my name, yeah. there am I in the midst of them. Yes. Am, I, am, I, am, I, am I teaching the Bible tonight? Yes. Is this the word of God tonight? Yes. Amen. Is this the word of God? Sister Joan, you've been with the church a long time, you know this. Is this the word of God? Yes. Amen. Yes. See, it should not be that we have to struggle and strain to have God in our midst. But something must change in the church for the glory of God to hit us. Not hit us, but react in us. That's a better word. I don't want you to feel like God's going to hit you. Uh, you know, but uh, he's not a hit man. Uh, but, uh, you know, but, but for the for the spirit of God to react in you. This is a holy place. It will keep it holy. I said, this is a holy place. Yes. It will keep it holy. Yes. The temple was a holy place. Yes. And the temple of the high priest that went in there was a holy temple. Yes, it was. And a holy temple yes. went into a holy temple. Yes. And my God, the smoke came in. Yes. And the glory of God was in there. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. We should keep this place holy. Yes. And the way to keep it holy is for us to be a holy temple of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Bad thoughts, bad feelings. I don't care about that. Disrespect uh, should, should leave us because I want to see Raymond Westbury healed. I want to see him years fall off from him. I want to see him leap through this place like a young man that I knew him one time as. I want me to not get older and older. I want, I, I want me to get more of the life of God. I, I want disease to leave my body. Come on. Yeah. I want this prostate one day. When I go back to my urologist, he said, you don't have to take anything more to, to, to keep it back. Uh, uh, you're free. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want your heart, Brother Les, not to be restored by surgeons, 
I want you, the Holy God, to restore your life. Sister Ella, I want the Holy God to touch your knee. Look, look, there's healing in the land. There's restoring in the land. We're not talking about something empty and dry and foolish. We're talking about the Holy Ghost Church. The temple filled with the smoke in it. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, so, so crucifying, crucifying, giving up. You've got to give up something you want. It, you want things you want, things you badly want. Even the way you want people to look at you and say, there's the most handsome man I ever saw. <laughs> We've all got that, that's ego. <laughs> I turn it around, go E. That's that go E S, ego. Uh, that, why well, you're the most lovely woman that ever walked. Well, we all want that, but look, look, that isn't the bottom line. The bottom line is that Jesus looks at us yes. and says, I see the lovely rose of Sharon. I see the lily of the valley. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There's things we have to give up, things we want, because it's a crucified life. I want to be first, but you may have to be second. I want to be ahead, but you may have to be in the rear. Yes. I want to be prominent, but you may not be. Because being saved, being saved, truly saved, not charismatic salvation, not Methodist, Baptist, not Adventist, but being saved, according to the scriptures, yes. is me having a new birth, yes. me being changed, yes. me having power with God. Me being crucified. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And now, and now uh, in Acts 2.38, uh, 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 this is another scripture. Uh, Repent and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Did you know? I believe we ought to start praying for services where we don't have to gather around people and say, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Yes. Did you know we don't have any real Bible evidence for that? Amen. Did you know we don't have any Bible pattern for that? No. But it's a way the Pentecostal people have adapted. Thank you, Jesus. But I don't believe they received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost that way. I don't think Peter was around John saying, praise him, John. No. Praise him, John. Come on, praise him. Turn it loose, John. Let it go, John. Do you believe that? The Bible said they were in one place in one accord. And suddenly, oh, Saturday night, if I could walk in this place and suddenly, and tonight, right here now, suddenly, praise the name of the Lord. Because I, I, I believe the time is coming when the church ought to look forward to services where the Holy Ghost just breaks out. Amen. Come on. Yes. Falls on people. Yes. Falls on them. Yeah. Don't have to give an altar call. Yes. We, we have no real Bible patterns for what we call altar calls. We don't have that. But we do have a pattern where they were in one accord, one place, where suddenly, suddenly, there came a wind from heaven. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, the Messiah. Hallelujah. I feel God here tonight. I, I'm not going to go long, lengthy. It's 9 20 now. And I'll, I'll pick this up. But, but look, look, being saved, repent. Repent. Do people really repent of sin? Do they really repent? Do they really repent? Uh, well, I've watched in this modern day, we, no, we're now immersion, where we have people and we're praying with them and we start praying with them, praising, 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 praising. And they're standing there. They haven't repented for drinking, smoking, cursing, pornography. They haven't repented for uh, being in a joint. They haven't repented for being in, in a dance hall. They haven't repented for sins. Uh, but we're trying to get them to praise the Lord. They can't praise the Lord and Him hear them until they repent. Amen. Repentance comes first. Yes. If I commit a sin, the next thing I have to do is repent. Come on. Yes. Yes. 
You can't get around it. No, sir. You cannot offend God. I have to repent. Yes. And, 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 and repent and be baptized then. And the next thing we want to do is keep that pool filled back there so that uh, we can baptize people right after they repent. I believe if they repent that night of their sins, we'll have some garments here to wrap around them. Change garments. Put it out and say, come back here to the water. Baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Fulfill the scripture. Fulfill the scripture. Don't let them wait a month later and be baptized. Do the scripture. Repent and then be baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall then receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I want to get back to Bible order. I want, if the Bible says it, I want to do it. If the Bible doesn't say it, I won't do it. But if the Bible says do it, I'll do it. Praise the name of the Lord. So this is another scripture. And then uh, Mark 16 and 16 um, is another scripture. Preach the gospel. Uh, go and preach the gospel to every creature. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth and is baptized. So we're going to keep that pool more filled from time to time. And we're going to ask people uh, to repent, come to God. And right after that, uh, we'll say, be baptized. Because that's the next step. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth, 16 verse, Mark 16, and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. Then Romans 10, a couple more scriptures. Romans 10 and 10. Confession with the mouth. Man confesseth with the mouth and believeth with the heart. And he shall be saved. If I confess and believe. Confess and believe. I can't just hold everything. I've got to confess I'm a sinner. I need to be saved, I need to be changed, I need to be washed, I need to be cleansed, and be saved. The reason some people are having battles in their flesh right now with zeal, desire in the church, uh, revival, evangelism, uh, uh, being enthusiastic, uh, attending, uh, being faithful, is because uh, they, they're, they're having trouble with confession. They're not confessing that they need God. They want him to come in. They want to feel the Spirit of the Lord. They want him to not leave the building till they feel the blood washing them again. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, there's natural dialysis, but there's also spiritual dialysis. Yep. Amen. Yes. Exchanging of the blood. Yes. Washing of the blood. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. The washing yes. of the re every service, every child of God or to go through a repentance and a confession and asking God to come in. And there was a time when we had service like this. We'd come in the door of the church and it'd be four or five, six or seven, eight or ten, down at the altar praying while they were getting the songs ready, yes. while the band was getting ready. There'd be an altar service going on. People wouldn't stop going. They, they, they'd come through the door. They'd go to the altar and they'd start confessing their sins and praying and asking God to come in. We don't see that now. No. And it won't happen again until people are conscious that you just can't go to God without going in divine order. That you can't take God for granted. That the church can expect God to bless if we don't obey his commandments. Right. Praise the name of the Lord. That the church, I must, your pastor, I've got a price to pay. I want the church to be blessed. I want to lead you right. I've got to die myself. I've got to go contrary to my flesh. Yes. Uh, I must be first partaker of the fruit. The elders must follow. The church must follow. Yes. Praise the name Praise of the Lord. Be sure of our salvation. Get our foundation right. And then let him cleanse us from the habits of the flesh life, the world, Amen. things that the world does. Somebody said, I don't know what the world is. I don't know what the world is. Well, you should. Have you read the uh, second chapter of 1 John? Uh, someone get me the verse there with a Steve. Uh, someone said, well, I, I, I'm not sure what the world is. I don't know how to stay out of the world or, or be in the world. 
Well, the Bible's plain. The Bible's clear to a child of God. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For all that is in the world, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in the next verse down, at 16, for all that is in the world, here's what's in the world, the lust of the flesh. That's the world. You must, you must get that back, drive that back. You can't, you can't have that, the lust of the flesh. You can't be committing adultery, fornication. Uh, can't be committing um, illegitimate relationships. You can't go into set houses. You can't go into where 